Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brick Designs. So I got a, another box in. I got the curated bead box for this month. Um, it's called My Summer Garden. And we're going to do an unboxing. Um, I will admit I kind of cheated and looked at this one as soon as it came in and just didn't have a chance to sit down and do the unboxing video. So I perused it real quick, put it all back together, and then um, looked at it. So it's not a surprise for me. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go through the unboxing with you. And so this month is a lot of oranges and pinks and, and yellows. And so we're going to go through this together. And they gave us a bag. So one of the items in the kit is a large orange organza gift bag. Um, these are great. So if you sell, if you sell your jewelry, I always keep these and put them in a big bag and I just take them to the craft fairs with me. And when people buy jewelry, when they buy, you know, bigger pieces, necklaces, I will use these organza bags to um, package them up. All right. So getting started, the first thing we have is 10 millimeter orange matte glass beads. And these are very pretty. I like these. These are... Um, I don't know, they, they're they're matte, I like them. Um, they kind of remind me of fall, like I think of pumpkins when I look at them, um, but they're pretty. I like those. Next we have 10 millimeter yellow swirl marble style glass beads. I love these beads. Um, not, not a huge fan of yellow, but I love the marble, the marble look. Um, those go well together. I'm kind of wondering what, I mean, that reminds me of something. I don't know. Like, I'm looking at that going, something. It's not lemonade. It's not, I don't know. It reminds me of something. Orange juice, I don't know. Next, we have soft pink marble style glass beads, 8 millimeter. I love these. These are so pretty. Um, they go well with the yellow. That reminds me, strawberry lemonade. Um, not sure they go well with the orange, but, um, next we have Red Blossom Spray Glass Beads. So these are pretty. These have oranges and yellows, which tie in nicely to the oranges on, um, to the orange on this bead and to the yellow. So those... Those go well together. That kind of reminds me of a late summer, early fall theme. Next, we have 6mm Fuchsia Gold Drizzle Glass Beads. Fuchsia. Ooh, these are pretty. Yes. I love these. Those are very pretty. Um, I like those together. I think that would make a great necklace. Um... I probably should grab a board here. Um, we should probably grab a board and do this because we're going to be working with these. Let me grab a pair of scissors. Um, I find that even though they're on the strings and we put them together in the strands like that, taking them out and putting them on the bead board like this and mixing them all together um, kind of allows me to get a better feel for, um, you know, what it's going to look like together. So, like, that looks really cool together, the reds and the oranges. Um, so, um, even that looks cute together with the orange. So, like, I was putting them together on the strands, and I didn't quite like it on the, the strand. But if I were to mix, you know, something like this, that would look really cool. Because you've got the yellow, and then you've got the pink. So, again, pull it, pulling it off your string um, will definitely give you a better idea of how things are going to connect together. Um, I know people put tend to, when they unbox them, they'll organize them into bead trays or bead uh, organizers where everything is separate. And that's great if that's how you like to work. I like to work with everything mixed together 
because then I can see, you know, I might see something when I'm swirling the beads around like this and going, oh, hey, that's a cool combination together. So like I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I can now see something like maybe like this where I've got the orange and the red and then a pink, you know, a pink or two pinks and then a yellow. I mean, so you've got your transition here. So dark, you know, something like that. Um, definitely I can see something like this together. Like if you were to put three beads in there, maybe a make a pendant, something like that, or, you know, definitely doing something like that. Um, you know, and then maybe, you know, a space and then orange pink orange that would look cool so I'm, I'm getting ideas as I'm unboxing all right next we have one ounce summer blossom glass beads so this is a bead mix and it's got some it's got some of my caramel colored that reminds me of caramel um I don't know why that just reminds me oops sorry I shut the camera Ooh, that is a really interesting bead. I didn't notice that in the mix before. It must have been hidden. That's like a bicone, but it's side drilled, so it's like a drop. And then we have, I love these bronze beads. You've got some more orange, brown. Um, so that's pretty. I like those. And then we've got approximately one ounce, six millimeter strawberry red glass beads. Um, that would be these. So these are, these look like they're drops. They've got, um, they're fatter on one side than they are on the other. So um, those are interesting. I'm going to leave those in the bag for now. Um not a big fan, but I do, I mean, they, they are pretty. Just, I don't know, I don't really use those style in my jewelry. Next, we have approximately one ounce, eight by four millimeter peanut beads in transparent yellow. And so we've gotten a lot of these lately in the curated bead box. I'm not a fan of these at all. Um, although these being the transparent, um, I like those a little better than I do the opaque because these at least look like glass to me whereas the opaque ones look I don't know they look plastic to me um, next we have approximately one ounce yellow peanut glass beads so we have the yellow and I'm thinking this is more of a mustard yellow so we've got that then we have um, 12 millimeter rust or fuchsia gemstone gold links. So, ooh. Oh, wait, those are the lady flowers. Oh, these are the gold links. There we go. Gemstone. Sorry, grabbed the wrong bag, guys. So, these are um, little drops that are put together. Those are kind of cute. Um, and then we have 22 by 18 butterfly ladybug rhinestone links. These are adorable. These I loved the minute I saw them. And I was like, those are links so they could be like a bracelet. Um, I like that as a bracelet. And maybe a necklace. Do a pendant where you have a drop or something. Um, it's got yellow in it. So I could see doing a yellow a yellow and a red maybe drop to kind of match the red and yellow in that. Um, but at least something for a drop or, you know, even bronze or, you know, so just something as a drop off of that. But I can see, you know, one being maybe a bracelet or maybe we do, you know, bracelet or do earrings. I don't know. I like these. I might have to get more of those um, when they have the extras come out. Um, they've got rhinestones, so they're sparkly. 
Um, and apparently I missed a strand. So we have... Um, this would be the Red Blossom Spray Glass Beads. So again, it's that marble... Um, and my bunny is eating things. I don't know what she is chewing on, but she's making some noise over there. Um, so we're going to get these off in there. So this is a very bright um, red, orange, pink kit. Um, and as always, they give you... Um, so we've got gold links in here. So as always, they give you your findings. Oops. Um, get that last bead out of there. Um, so with your findings, they give you, so we've got, um, lobster claws, jump rings, elastic, which I never use, ear wires, um, crimp beads, uh, head pins, uh, beetle on and memory wires. So I'm going to try this month. I haven't used them in the past. I am going to try this month to use these beads in my designs. So that is going to be my goal for this month is to try to find something that I can do with these designs. Um, yeah. So anyways, that's this month's bead box, my summer garden. Um, and I see the picture that they used. It's got poppies and daisies. Um, that's That was their inspiration. Um, and actually, you know, looking at these flowers, they definitely matched the colors in this picture. So anyways, that was Curated Bead Box, my summer garden. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.